The nonprofit sector is is the sort of leftover sector in in our society. Uh, if if we want to make money, we go into business. If we want to make order, we go into government. Or now, I guess, if you want to make nothing, you go into government. But anyway, uh, everything else we sweep into the nonprofit sector. So we have nonprofit hospitals. We have nonprofit colleges and schools. Nonprofit social service agencies, nonprofit uh, churches, and nonprofit arts and, and uh, uh, culture organizations, and even nonprofit environmental organizations. So it was natural in the sector to have all those different kinds of organizations going after their own particular agenda. And it meant that the nonprofit sector was just a patsy and a pushover in Lansing, because every time business came to speak with one voice, and then the nonprofit sector spoke with 10 voices. And, you know, they could play one off against another and, you know, say those, those uh, SOBs in education are trying to steal healthcare's lunch. And, oh, and, you know, look at what these guys in healthcare are making. You know, you arts and culture people should be up in arms. So the only way for the nonprofit sector to take a seat at the table with the, cha the Chamber of Commerce, for example, or with local governments, was to have one voice, to have a nonprofit association. And as you can imagine, at those first meetings, there were nonprofit leaders uh, who had their own organizations. I won't mention any names. But they, they could only see MNA as a threat. It, it would be taking some of their lunch and, uh, and not providing anything. And again, Russ Mobby, the, the visionary, said, look, if, you know, you 10 organizations, if you work together, all 10 of you can continue with your own organizations. You can continue with your own projects and agendas, but there will be things that on which you come together. And it just goes, you know, stands to reason that you can, if you have a team of 10 working together, then you have something stronger than 10 individuals trying to run around like an anthill and, and make something work. So uh, it, it, again, was a tough sell, but Russ was able to do it. Uh, partly because, of course, there was money there to, to make that happen. There was an initial um, hiccup with the first executive director not being the, the right fit for the job and having to reboot after about a year and a half. Uh, but then it has expanded beyond all expectations. It would have happened, but it probably would have crashed and burned because Russ became the chairman of the board for the first several years. And it was, it was sort of like, um, you know, it, it's easy to have a Lord of the Flies situation if someone puts money on the table and walks away and all of you are left to fight over it. But if someone puts money on the table and sits at the table, then it becomes important to share and share alike and to uh, uh, you know, be essentially on best behavior because you know you're going to go to that somebody, to Russ Mobby, for support down the line. So you know, it, 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 it may not have been voluntary uh, good behavior, but it, nonetheless, it was good behavior. <laughs>